Susan Sun Nanamaker with SunIsTheFuture.net here uh, with uh, Allison Hyde at also Energy Booth, and uh, we are really happy to be able to get hold of uh, Allison. Well, tell us a little bit about also Energy. What does it do? What do you provide for us? So also Energy has been around since about 2007. We are a performance monitoring software company. So for solar installations and renewable energy installations, what we do is we put hardware on the site and then bring all the information that's coming from weather stations, inverters, power electronics, any, any sort of hardware and electronics that you have on the site. All right. Bring that information up to the cloud and then back to you at an internet accessible portal so that you can manage what's going on on the site. And then we can oh. also accumulate several sites. So there are developers, financiers, companies with a large portfolio of products um, across the country or across the globe. And they can look and see how all those renewable energy assets are performing in one place. Oh, so how long have you been around again? Uh, since 2007. Oh, okay. And uh, how many clients? Well, what is usually the coverage of a clientele? Is it the uh, south part of the country or north? or? Uh, it's globally. Oh, it's international. Okay. So we have about a thousand sites that we're monitoring around the world. Oh, so we okay. like to say that the sun never sets on also energy. There's always right. something going on somewhere. It's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's always plenty of sunshine everywhere. Yes. Huh? And uh, what about, uh, uh, is it usually a large scale company you're dealing with or is it uh, smaller scale? A little bit of everything. So um, our product is very versatile so that we find that our, we have various, various types of clients. Mm -hmm. um, so some of our clients might have a large portfolio with hundreds of sites. Mm -hmm. And then we also have some single site clients or maybe um, a company that's doing an entire school district and they might have 50 projects or something like that. So um, they can be anything from small scale systems to very large utility scale systems. And there's a, are you using in-house, uh, let's say, staff doing the programming, coding, or is mm -hmm. it uh, yep. some uh, outside? So it's all in-house. Uh -huh. We have a, a software development team who's constantly making the product better and more versatile um, based on you know what, what the requirements of projects and what our customers need. Um, and then we also have an in-house electrician who pre-builds all the hardware that goes into the communications enclosure. Right. So you would receive hardware that's going to go onto the site and communicate with everything um, and pull data off of it. Oh, great way to optimize the energy input and yes. output. And, Absolutely. Uh, Okay, so uh, what do you think uh, the future direction of the solar industry will be? You know, I think we're going to continue to to ride the solar coaster, and there's there's going to be peaks and troughs, but I believe there's a lot of promise out there, and you know, it's the future of energy and all part of the solution. And um, you know, it'll be exciting to see how things change and evolve. I mean, just since 2007, we've seen a lot of a lot of new features, a lot of differences, a lot of different types of projects, and the scale of power plants going bigger and bigger. So. It's really good to see um, companies such as yours to help to uh, increase the forecasting capability of the energy use, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because without it, I think it's much more difficult to coordinate how much, uh, let's say, for example, I think uh, you have products that's actually helping us to um, change the direction of the angle, for example, of our uh, panels, mm -hmm. wouldn't it? Yeah, so our software will tell you, um, for example, with the tracking system, how it's performing, how mm -hmm. much um, energy you're getting off of all of those tracking units, and if you can decide to, you know, change the angle or move it around or power something up or down, you know, that's all something that can be integrated into the platform. Mm -hmm. Any idea how much it's been able to optimize in terms of, let's say, uh, energy output with versus without your uh, software? Yeah, so in general what we see is that systems that are monitored have at least a 6% um, gain in production and therefore revenue, and that's, good. And that's mm -hmm. at a minimum. So it's important to know that if something's not functioning to its full, per, you know, its optimal performance that you can go out, fix that, send maintenance crews out to wash things or check connections, and you really do get much higher performance out of it. Do you usually um um, modularize it or do you actually uh, uh, have kind of a input per unit or per panel or how is it a setup usually? Like it, it can be any way. So there are some sites where they simply want cumulative output of mm -hmm. everything on site um, but you can also drill down to an inverter to combiner boxes that are downstream of the inverters to uh, string level okay. or individual panels. So it's all possible. It's just a question of how much data do you need and what's the best um, setup for that system. Yes, I can see it's really important mm -hmm. considering the fact that the clouds are constantly moving and uh, we really need to know the direction 
and how what we can predict. And right. um, well, what about? Do you think? Does it make much difference to your company uh, whether or not there's much incentive out there? Uh, in terms of in rebates terms of policies and, and, and rebates? And well, I think it makes a difference for the whole industry. I mean, we've, we've come a long way over the last several years because of rebates, mm -hmm. um, and certainly it's helped accelerate that you know, maturation curve. So uh, I think it's important to still keep them around to continue to help the fledgling technology you know, become more mainstream, and we've certainly made leaps and bounds but I, I think it still needs just a, a little bit of at least policy support to help it continue. Yeah, it's always good to have the system much more efficient, and that's where you right. come in. Right, I mean, if you're, if you're putting a lot of money into expensive equipment, you want to make sure it's actually working and you're getting the biggest bang for your buck. So that's yes. where it's very important to, to monitor and check on the health of the system. Um, how do people get in touch with you guys? Yeah. So we do have a website, mm -hmm. um, www.alsoenergy.com, mm -hmm. and that's probably the best way to check out our products, what we do, services we can offer, and then also you know, our, our phone number to, to contact us for any inquiries there as well. Very good. Thank you very much. Really yes. appreciate it. Thank you, Susan. And uh, wonderful. Uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you. You as Thank well. Thank you. Bye-bye. Signing off, Susan Sun, Maker with Sun is the Future.net.